Hey, welcome to the channel. It's your boy Gordon from Gordon's World for Life. Check it out today. Of course, you know what it is. Sunday, Sunday, cook day, baby. Yeah, I'm back in the kitchen again, as usual. You know what I'm saying? Today, on the menu, is spaghetti. Some hearty spaghetti. Just a simple pot of spaghetti. I'm going to cook this exactly like my mom used to do it. And uh, But I'm going to add a few more vegetables, you know what I'm saying? But basically, it's the same way. This is how she was cooking for us growing up. And like I said, I told I was talking to him just off the topic a little bit. I was talking to my cousin, Yolanda. I want to shout out to my cousin, Yolanda Wimberly. And, uh, Wimberly, and uh, Reed, a.k.a. Reed. And uh, I was just telling her, she asked me about my video. So long story short, I just let her know all these meals that I cook on Sunday is in dedication to my mother. Because my mom made a lot out of nothing. So no matter the amount of money, you can be up, you can be down, you can be in the middle. She always made it. Sunday was a good day to eat and you know you was going to eat hard. Whether it was a budget meal or she had a little extra. So this is... These, all these Sunday cook days, it's like a dedication to my mom. So that's why I do it. And that's just one of the reasons I do it. So with that being said, here's the menu on today's Sunday cook day. Hello, world. All right, here we go. Of course, you, know you got to have some hamburger meat for spaghetti. You got this noodles. I like you put two kinds of onions in there. This is a white onion, yellow onion, and red onion. You got bell pepper, red and green. See, I got garlic, salt and pepper to season that with. And of course, I got some uh, pasta sauce. This is pre goo, but you can use whatever kind you like. That's the kind I, I like. I like the flavor of it. And uh, I add all this and season it. And this is what's up. Hello, bro. We get ready to go brown them. Dump the meat, brown it. I'm going to show y'all all that. And it's just really a simple dump and go. Once we get all the ingredients chopped and cooked and in here, and cook the noodles, and that's it. So I'm gonna let y'all see how she how she showed me to do it when I was young. And <laughs> you know I'm gonna smash some. And with my spaghetti, I like cornbread. Hello world. All right, here we go. We get ready to start browning the meat. So I take the meat out the package. Throw this in there, just a quick brown. Break it up a little bit, not a lot. You can put more meat. This is probably about a pound and a half of hamburger meat. And uh, you can use, oh man, what the world? You can use whatever, however much you like for myself. For myself, just enough. We're just gonna do a little, I'm not making a big pot. Put a little salt, some pepper. My son, he likes the noodles, so he, this is a meal that my little my son eats, so I like to cook this for him, because I like for him to eat. And uh, we're going to let this start browning. Let me get my spatula, break it up just a little bit. And we're going to have this to start browning. Season with a little salt, pepper. I like to put a little garlic powder in it. A little garlic powder as well. Granulated garlic, rather. And I have some Italian seasoning in here that I like to use. If I can find it, there it is. My Italian seasoning. I sprinkle a little Italian seasoning while I cook the meat. Give it a look. Just giving the meat more flavor. And there we go. So now we got all of that going. We're gonna let this just brown. And as it starts to brown, hold on. As it starts to brown a little bit. Hold on a second, I forgot what thing. I got my onions right here. White and red, white and red onions. Add them all chopped up. So we're gonna put those in there. And as this go to brown, I'll add some uh, garlic here in a second. So we'll let this go. Hello world. All right, got it browning, starting to brown. Now as it brown, this is what I like to do. I like to come in, 
Got a couple things we're ready to put in. This is garlic. See how much garlic it is. Quite a bit. We're going to dump all the garlic in. Then from here, we got red peppers, red bell pepper, and greens. We're going to add all of that. It's probably about a half a red, half a green, so about a whole bell pepper. And we're going to let that cook in. That's a brown. Boy, that garlic smells amazing. I season it heavily like that with the vegetables because of uh, other traditional uh, prego sauce I use. It's not really meat, uh, vegetable heavy, and I kind of like the taste of you know the vegetables in my spaghetti to see. So we're gonna let this keep cooking. I'm gonna let y'all get a look at it. See that? Is that brown? That's the spaghetti meat. Wish they had smell of vision so you can smell it. But this is what it's looking like. We let it brown kind of slow. I don't want to burn the garlic. And we got it cooking right now. So now I gotta get these noodles on so we can get ready. This is just a kind of simple, a simple meal my mom used to cook for us. And man, it would be so good. And you ate as much as you want. Hello, bro. All right, we got this going now. I got the pasta water on. Look at that, steaming up. It's starting to smell good. You can just smell them big. Put four cloves of garlic in it, pretty big ones too. You can just smell it. it smells so good. So that's almost done. Cut the fire down on that. And then next, we'll be adding in the tomato sauce. Let this brown a little more. We'll add the tomato sauce. And over here we got the pasta water. I always put a little salt in the pasta water. Along with, this is my uh, garlic olive oil. Just so the noodles don't stick right there, you can see. I put that in there. Put a little oil in there so my noodles don't stick. And we got it going. Let's see, I got a lot of that corn on the cob. We got broccoli and cheese with it in the salad. Hello, world. Smell of amazing. All right, we got this going. I got the fire up. I just drained all the little hamburger fat like that. So now we get ready to pour in the ragu. Not ragu. Pour in the tomato sauce. Hold on just a second. Pour in the tomato sauce. So I ain't gonna pour it all in. We're gonna get it going and see what it looks like. Let this simmer. Just pour it all in. See how it looks now? Nice and chunky. I'm gonna pour a little more of it. Like that. There we go. That's the sauciness that I like right there. You see all the vegetables, meat, onions, garlic in it. See? This is the sauce. I'm gonna let the sauce simmer. And I usually put a little shredded parmesan in it later on. So I get back to each other when I'm ready to do that. And I'm gonna season it a little more with some fresh black pepper. stick when I do this. Plus it's flavored olive oil. Uh, anyway, garlic flavor. That's simmering. 
Pasta going. So we'll be right back at you. All right, here we go, y'all. I'm back with the uh, sauce. Let me let y'all look at the sauce real quick. Sit that over there. We'll just watch the sauce. Look at the sauce. See it? It's steaming. Nice and bubbly. Meaty. So we got that done. So next, we'll set that there so you can see. Next, I got my noodles done over here too. So I'm just gonna start adding a few of the noodles as I go so I don't waste water everywhere. We'll just add some of the noodles like this. Mm -hmm. Put all these in here. See that? It's done. Use the tongs. Usually get all of it out with these tongs. Might leave a couple in there. I always get a little. I always get a little pasta water and pour it in there. Take a little more little container. Get a little pasta water. Pour in my sauce. And now we're going to stir this up. This is how I like my spaghetti mixed all together. Stir it up. Let me let you check out how it's looking. See it? See the, We're going to get this all stirred and mixed in. Then I'm going to show you the next step. The way my mom used to do. So you get this all mixed in real good. And she would take sliced cheese. She would sprinkle Parmesan in it first. And then my brothers like cheese. We all like cheese. So she would take sliced cheese, put it over the top, cut it off, put the lid on, and let it melt. And I'll show y'all that process right when I get through mixing this in. Hello, world. All right, here we go. Let me let y'all get a look at this. Looks good. Nice and steamed. I got it down on real low. I'm actually gonna cut the fire off now. Look at that. All the noodles is incorporated real good. This is what my mom would do next. Let me sit this down. Let y'all see what I got going on. She'll take some of this, which I ain't got much left anyway. Sprinkle this. That. That's all I had. She liked to mix a little up, just mix it, stir it just a little. And then she would always put sliced cheese. I don't know why. Let me stir it and get it incorporated real good. This is how I grew up. She would take sliced cheese. I'm not gonna put it over all of it because everybody in the house may not like it. But I'm gonna sure do it on my side. The side I'll eat out of. Mm -hmm. That's what do. Let y'all see that. See it? That's how she would do it. And I'm gonna put the lid back on it. I'm gonna put the lid back on. Let it steam for a little bit and I get back at you. Alright, here we go. Let me let's pick this camera up. And I'm gonna let y'all see what it looks like. Fresh, fresh out, open. Look at that. That's how it would always look. Now she would cover the whole thing, but I didn't want to cover all of it because everybody don't want cheese. But this is how it would look. It's one of the most cleanest meals. 
pot of spaghetti. That's how I grew up eating it. Especially on a Sunday. So we get ready to let this broccoli get done. And we head to, to the uh, table. Hello, bro. Back and forth. Sunday cook day, man. Corn bread, corn on the cob, broccoli, and we got the salad. This is how my mother would always do Sunday dinner. This one's dedicated to her. Hello, bro. And this one I rolled the hands together one time in as well. I'm gonna let y'all check out the plate. Me and the big fella sitting there eating. So I'm gonna let y'all check mine out. It's full of veggies, not it. much spaghetti, but this is how it go. I'm gonna let y'all check it out. Hello, bro. Rub your hands together, big fella. <laughs> let me show you. Rub your hands together. <laughs> there, there, there you go. <laughs> Rub your hands together. <laughs> Rub all your hands together. There we go. That's my plate for the day. You can see. Got like spaghetti, a few peppers, broccoli, corn, and a sal and a salad, and a big salad right there. So not much spaghetti at all. Gordon wanna show his plate. That's his plate. See big fella. Yeah, he got you got your spaghetti. So that's today's that's today's plate right there. Sunday cook day. So here we go, I'm gonna let y'all see that it's, it's probably still smoking hot. I, I actually waited a little while. You know, you know, I gotta put a little jag of ranch on my salad. I'm trying to, not a lot, just a little bit. And we are gonna see how hot this is. See, it's still smoking hot. I was trying to wait for it to cool down, but I'm gonna taste it. I wanna taste it too. A little pepper, broccoli. Broccoli? Yeah, it's broccoli. When well, you gotta try some, I'm saying it's nasty. You don't like to eat nothing. Salad. I always ate cornbread with my spaghetti, so I gotta try the cornbread. I got a spaghetti too. You want some cornbread? Okay. Well, as you can see, it's a nice hearty Sunday meal. Sunday. Where's my brother's name? They ain't no. This is exactly how we used to eat as a kid. Sunday. On Sunday, right here. Friday. What day? Tuesday. Can't eat a lot of spaghetti because of the pasta. My new love diet thing, but you know, it's still good. Corn. I love that corn. I get it from Sam. It's real sweet. But it's just a little quick uh, kind of meal to remind me of my mother because this past weekend I went and seen a bunch of family members and and I. Uh, Wanted to say rest well to my auntie who passed on. Yeah. Yeah, I see it, son. And I just just reminded me of her. I wanted to make something that she used to make for us. And, I mean, it's basically a, a ditto type meal. It's what she would make and cook for. So, with that being said, it's your boy Gordon from Gordon's World for Life. Another day alive. It's another day to shine. Guess what, y'all? I'm gone. Out of here. Hello, world. Ah, <laughs> there you go, big fella. Tell him it's good. <laughs> so we go.